Ever wanted to get abducted by aliens? Well, this video is your best chance. Only because we're going to cover some of the most daunting stories of people being abducted by an alien. From the disappearance of a pilot whose last message was a shiny metal object with a green light, to a man stuck in an operation room with three short bald headed figures. Here are your top 10 scary alien abduction stories that'll keep you up. I'm your host Andrew and let's get right into this. All the way at a number 10 spot, we have the case of Travis Walton. In 1975, Travis Walton was working as a logger in Arizona when he claimed to have been abducted by a UFO. He was with a group of other loggers at the time and they all witnessed the UFO before it whisked Walton away. After being missing for 5 days, Walton reappeared with a strange story of having been taken aboard the UFO and subjected to a series of medical examinations by these aliens. He claimed he was taken to a somewhat operation room with 3 short bald headed figures where he started to panic and fight them off. And this is when a human looking figure took him to another room and this is when he passed out and reappeared on a highway completely nude. The incident gained widespread attention and was even investigated by the US Air Force. Many people were skeptical of Walton's story and some even suggested that he may have fabricated the whole thing. However, the other loggers who were with Walton at the time of the incident all swore that they saw the UFO and that they believed that Walton was telling the truth. The story was later made into a book and film named Fire in the Sky in 1990. So go check it out. And to this day, people are still divided on the truth of Walton's story and this incident remains one of the most well known UFO abduction cases in history. At a number 9 spot we have the Barney and Betty Hill abduction. The Barney and Betty Hill abduction is a well known case of an alleged extraterrestrial abduction in the United States. The incident took place in September 1961 as Barney and Betty Hill were driving back to Portsmouth, New Hampshire from a vacation. Betty first spotted a bright point of light in the sky that appeared to be moving erratically and growing bigger and brighter. Barney stopped the car for a closer look and both of them observed an odd shaped craft with multicolored lights that appeared to be rotating. The Hills claimed that the craft descended rapidly towards their vehicle and Barney even claimed to have seen humanoid figures peering out the windows. The Hills reported that the craft approached to within 50 to 80 feet overhead and Barney ran back to the car in a near hysterical state claiming that the figures were going to capture them. The couple reported experiencing missing time and later underwent hypnosis to try to recover any lost memories. The incident became widely publicized and was the subject of a best selling book and a television film. The Hills story has been the subject of much debate and speculation over the years, however their case will forever remain one of the most well known UFO abduction cases in the United States. At number 8 spot we have Antonio Villa Boas. Antonio Villas Boas was a Brazilian farmer who claimed to have been abducted by extraterrestrials in 1957. On October 16, 1957, he was working in his fields when he saw a red star in the sky that approached and became a circular or egg shaped aerial craft with a rotating cupola. According to his story, he was seized by small grey clad humanoids taken inside the aircraft and then subjected to a series of procedures including blood sampling, exposure to a gas that made him violently ill and sexual intercourse with a female humanoid. Boaz claimed that he was then given a tour of the ship and watched it take off before returning home to discover that 4 hours had passed. He claimed to have suffered from nausea, weakness, headaches and skin lesions following the alleged event. Boaz later became a lawyer and stuck to the story of his abduction for his entire life. Some people consider his story to be a hoax although he reportedly maintained his account until his death in 1991. At a number 7 spot we have the Taylor Incident. The Taylor Incident also known as the Livingston Incident or the Detchmont Woods Encounter is an alleged extraterrestrial sighting that occurred in Scotland in 1979. Forrester Robert Taylor claimed to have encountered a flying dome which is this large circular sphere with small propellers in the Detchmont Law Forest. He reported that smaller spheres resembling sea mines had seized him and were trying to drag him in the direction of the large object before he just lost consciousness. When he awoke, the objects were gone and he walked home with torn clothing and grazes on his chin and thighs. The police reported the incident as a criminal assault and doctors treated Taylor's injuries. Ufologists have taken an interest in the story and Taylor has become well known among UFO enthusiasts as the only person to have reported a UFO sighting that was a subject to a criminal investigation. Ufologist Malcolm Robinson believes the incident could be a genuine case of a UFO encounter, while UFO skeptic Stuart Campbell believes the story could have been a simple exclamation and pointed to PVC pipes stored in the clearing that could have caused the ground mark 
parking. At a number six spot, we had the Pascagoula abduction. The Pascagoula abduction was a highly publicized event that took place in October 1973. Charles Hickson and Calvin Parker were fishing near Pascagoula, Mississippi when they claimed to have been abducted by aliens. They reported seeing two flashing blue lights and an oval shaped object that was approximately 30 to 40 feet in diameter and 8 to 10 feet in height. The two men reported being paralyzed while these three creatures with slit mouths and crab like pincers performed an examination on them. After the event, Hickson went on to give interviews and lectures and even appeared on television shows like To Tell the Truth. Parker became involved in the UFO community and even started a company focused on producing TV stories about UFO sightings. However, many skeptics have cast doubt on the validity of the Pascagoula abduction. Philip J. Class, an aviation journalist and UFO skeptic, found inconsistencies in Hickson's story and concluded that it was all a big hoax. Joe Nickel also expressed skepticism suggesting that Hickson may have fantasized about the encounter while in a hypnagogic state, which is basically hallucinations that happen while you're sleeping. Parker's corroboration of the tale was seen as a result of suggestibility as he initially told the police that he had passed out during the incident. No one will really know the truth of this abduction, but it still remains a pioneer in extraterrestrial interactions. In the hump of our list, we have the disappearance of Frederick Valentich. Frederick Valentich was a young Australian pilot who disappeared during a training flight in 1978 and his story has been shrouded in mystery and speculation ever since. On the evening of October 21st, Valentich radioed Melbourne air traffic control to report that he was being followed by an aircraft a thousand feet above him and that his engine was running roughly. He went on to describe the aircraft as not being like anything he had ever seen before with a shiny metal surface and a green light. His transmission was then interrupted by metallic scraping noises before all contact was lost. A search was then conducted but no trace of Valentich or his aircraft was ever found. Some have proposed that he staged his own disappearance while others believe he became disoriented and just crashed into the water, mistaking his own lights for those of another aircraft. The investigation by the Australian Department of Transport was unable to determine the cause of his disappearance but it was presumed fatal. Despite extensive searches and investigations, the fate of Frederick Valentich still remains a mystery and it really brings in the question of what was really following him in the sky that day. Number four, a UFO encounter or just sleep paralysis. A now deleted Reddit user was lying in their bed with their girlfriend when they woke up from an intense dream and as he was about to tell his girlfriend, he realized that he couldn't move a muscle. All of a sudden they heard someone yell out, watch out, he's awake. And he began to feel pressure on his chest all while while being tied down to a dentist like chair. The red user then heard a metal door close loudly and then just complete silence, which seemed to last an eternity. They could hear their girlfriend breathing in her sleep next to them, but were unable to move or even wake her up. This is when the user came up with the idea that they had been abducted by aliens. After a couple of minutes, it had seemed like they were transported back to their bed. After they regained control of their body, the user woke up with their girlfriend and went downstairs where they had a glass of juice and smoked a cigarette in the garden due to the stress. They took their tablet and researched what they had experienced and it was either sleep paralysis or an alien abduction. They then left off with a message saying that anyone who have claimed to have been abducted by aliens might have actually just experienced sleep paralysis and maybe there's some truth to that. Number 3. The UFO Encounter of Marius de Wilde the French commune of Quarobo made headlines in September 10, 1954 when a local railway worker named Marius de Wilde claimed to have been visited by extraterrestrials. According to reports, de Wilde claimed that a cigar shaped UFO landed near his garden and two small creatures in spacesuits resembling dive costumes emerged. The UFO shot a beam of light that paralyzed De Wilde and by the time he recovered, the aliens were already getting ready to leave. Despite an investigation by the authorities that found unusual marks on the railway tracks, there was no concrete evidence of an alien encounter. The story of Myers De Wilde's experience with extraterrestrials quickly spread and reached the wine producing village Chateauneuf de Pop, located hundreds of miles from Quarobo. The local mayor and town council were keen to protect their citizens and vineyards from potential alien invaders and as a result, passed a municipal decree that bans all UFOs from landing, taking off or flying over the community, which is just very strange. This strange and unique occurrence has become one of France's most fascinating UFO stories. Number two, The Visitors. Lewis Whitley Strieber is an American writer known for his horror novels and nonfiction books exploring paranormal concepts. Strieber claims to have been abducted by non-human entities, which he referred to as visitors. And he even wrote about his experiences in Communion, a nonfiction book 
book that became his bestseller and reached the number one position on the New York Times bestseller list. Schrieber's subsequent books also detail his experiences with the visitors, including transformation, breakthrough the next step, and solving the communion enigma, what is to come. In his writings, Schrieber has explored the idea of parallel universes and time travel, and he believes that the human species is being led to a higher level of existence. He has expressed frustration that his experiences have been taken as alien contact, and has reported anomalous childhood experiences and possible early interference by intelligence or military agencies. Despite extensive tests Shiba's brain was found to be functioning normally. Number one, Elliot Bud Hopkins. Elliot Bud Hopkins was an American artist, author, and ufologist who is known for his research and writing on the subject of alien abductions. He was a prominent figure in the study of the phenomenon and is often referred to as the father of the abduction movement. Hopkins was inclined to believe that alien abductions were a form of genetic experimentation and likened them to assault. He described victims' experiences as severe and nightmarish and believed that both men and women could be abducted by aliens. Women in particular, according to Hopkins, seem to be part of a highly technological colonization scheme where they have been taken to spaceships, impregnated, and then had their hybrid fetuses removed. Hopkins believes that once a victim, abductees were powerless and susceptible to additional kidnapping. Critics of his work, however, argue that the phenomenon can be explained by normal hallucinatory powers of the brain, such as sleep paralysis. Hopkins rejected this idea and believed that sleep paralysis was an inadequate explanation for those who experience abductions outside of the bedroom. Well, these are the top 10 scary alien abduction stories that will keep you up. What do you guys think about this list? Leave a comment down below with your thoughts and some suggestions for our future videos. I'm your host, Andrew, and be sure to like and subscribe for some more content in the future, and I hope you guys have a scary day.